Welcome to Electrical Engineering Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to don't miss our upcoming videos. What is the partial discharge, and how to control it in high voltage motors and generators? Part 4. Condition Monitoring and Service. Many manufacturers provide recommendations for condition monitoring of their motors and generators. They recommend that the condition of the windings is monitored regularly, for example, and can install coupling capacitors in the main terminal box to enable periodic offline or even online PD measurements. To establish a basis for trending PD measurements, manufacturers can perform fingerprint measurements on new motors and generators as part of the factory acceptance testing FAT. However, it is recommended that a new fingerprint measurement is taken after commissioning because PD activity on site can vary significantly from the activity level measured during FAT. This is due to the different environmental conditions, noise level, and measuring and calibration equipment on site. Measuring PD alone does not provide enough information on the condition of the motor or generator, and visual inspections and other evaluations also need to be done. Services like ABB Leap, Life Expectancy Analysis Program, which provides regular on site assessments of the condition of the stator winding insulation and evaluates possible changes in the expected lifetime, can be used for this purpose. ABB Leap Standard Level, for example, includes analysis of polarization depolarization current, nonlinear insulation behavior, tan delta and capacitance, and other assessments in addition to PD measurements. This can be combined with ABB's standard service program, which mainly focuses on the rotor, bearings and cooler, and includes visual inspections, to realize a broad overall assessment. The data produced by ABB Leap are more stable than PD measurements alone, as each measurement is enhanced by the others and a large database of earlier tests is used as a basis for ABB Leap reports. If monitoring reveals a rising trend in PD levels, this may indicate that a problem exists and action should be taken to identify the source of the PD. If the increase in PD is due to ambient factors, such as a dirty or wet winding, the solution is simply to clean and or dry the winding. The aging process is highly dependent on temperature, and if high temperatures are causing accelerated aging the cooler can be serviced to bring them back down to normal levels. Does it make sense to stipulate low PD levels? An increasing trend in the high voltage motor and generator markets is for plants to stipulate low PD levels when specifying new equipment. Unfortunately, this will not necessarily ensure a longer lifetime or increased reliability, but it will lead to higher cost and over design. As explained of, reliable manufacturers seek to ensure that the primary high voltage insulation materials in their motors and generators are resistant to PD, that is they are designed to operate under varying levels of PD activity. There is also no direct correlation between PD magnitude and insulation lifetime because, for a given motor or generator, electrical stress may not be the dominant team factor behind insulation aging. Furthermore, it is fairly meaningless to state that PD is low, absolute PD magnitudes are very difficult to evaluate, which is why trends in PD levels should be used instead. Thank you for watching.